Right, oh, now we're going to do um, a product tableau. I'm going to show you two different examples. The first example is going to be if we have to duplicate an existing product. I think that will help you um, understand what information is required where and when. And the second one is going to be where uh, we're going to start from scratch. And I'm going to use both the same images and so on and so forth for both of them. Um, but we're going to start from scratch. We'll start from scratch. Okay. So let's go and uh, start with a new product. We're going to upload a product. We go add new. Um, when we add a new product, it means that all the information that we're going to be adding is going to be new from scratch. Okay. I'm going to say yeah, example for demo. Then you'll notice that if you look at your uh, if you look at your 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 store, um, just cancel it. Visit store in a new tab. Okay. If you, you notice when you visit your store, that if we click on one of the products, you have a short description and a long description. Your short description. Is this description here that says beanies knitted in fun patterns for little ones? Your long description is down here. Now, on the product page, your long description's at the top and your short description's at the bottom. So don't get those too confused. You'll see you've made the whatever. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say long description. And then on a bit and I'm going to add a short description here now it's good to give uh, it's good to give details about your product in your long description now the nice thing about this is that you have what we call a uh, tiny MCE editor it's very much like a word document you can have a look here you've got your font style you can choose a font you can choose a, a size of the font you can choose um, a heading um, you can put tabs in you can italicize it you can put in quotes um, you can put in a link um, i don't think any of those things are going to be uh, any worthwhile to you just the cut and paste your stuff and put it in here or type it cut and paste your stuff and put it in there okay so that's for the description part of it which is this piece up here and this piece down here now we're going to go to the pricing okay so we're going to put a price in here we're going to say let's say a thousand rand it's all worked out in rands already because it's it's done for you um in the woocommerce setup all right inventory if you're going to control your inventory okay in other words um you're going to have uh, a limited amount in stock then uh, you can track the stock quantity here yeah we have one in stock if you want it to be able to be ordered on back order then you leave it in stock and then when the when the client phones you and asks you what's happening with the thing you tell them you're still knitting it so you have on a number of your things say, stating that uh, it's on back order. All right. Shipping. Uh, you can put in the weight, the size, and the length. Uh, I think with Puda, it's not necessary. This is more for when you're taking it on an online shipping thing where they can calculate the cost of the shipping per weight, per, um, per size. Uh, courier guy and places like that require that information. Okay. Linked products. Okay, yeah, you can you can add a product. Um, say, for instance, you've got this one. There's a fair isle, and you've got another one that's a fair isle, and you can link those products. Uh, you can uh, you can li link that product to that product. Say, for instance, you've got a beanie the same color as the fair isle jersey. Then you can link the two products. So uh, you've seen the sites where they say, this person bought that, and they bought this. So you can search for your link product. Let's say beanies. Okay, beanies. Let's go yellow pineapple beanie for that one. And then cross sales, you can do exactly the same thing. You can cross sell it or you can whatever. 
attributes. We don't have any specific attributes on this product. Um, advanced, you don't have anything that's uh, specifically required for the advanced mode. Now, on the right hand side, this is a this is a, where you would upload your images. Um, firstly, we have the product image, product image, product image. So we're going to select a product image. We go to our product images. Remember, I said we're going to upload that. Uh, we're going to upload that image that was already uploaded. There, set this product image. Okay. So what's going to happen? That's going to load here. Now that's your main product image. That is this image here. Your main product image. Now if we have to go to, let's say for instance, this product here, this is more than one image. I think this one is two images. Yes. So we've got that main image. This is where we want that 1024 size image, the big image for your whatever. Okay, we've got the one image, then we've got another image. So we've got two images with detail. This is to give them detail of the pattern used, etc., etc. And this is uh, this is the, the knit complete. Okay, now that is your main image, and this is a gallery image. You can have as many gallery images as you want. To, if you want to put gallery images in, uh, you add product gallery images. So let's go to our media library. Let's add, let's say, for instance, we're going to, just for the, the love of it, we're going to add um, that image. Hold down the shift key, that image. Hold down the shift key, that image. Um, so I'm going to add those four as gallery images. And there you have it. So this is, we're going to have nits for 0 to 5, and we're going to have from 5 to 9. That is going to be uh, our categories. Our tags, we're going to put in here, uh, bundle. Just for the sake of adding a tag. And it'll add your tag in here. You can also choose from the, the majority of the tags used. Yeah, you've got a heat map telling you where most of the like girl okay age five these are the ones the bigger ones are the ones that use the most boy okay so we add that and there we have our product loaded all right we got the price if you want to put that on sale let's say for instance just as an example you want to put a sale price on and say okay it's summer's coming and you want to get rid of these jerseys so we're going to give them to them at half price so sale prices 500 bucks and then you can put the date in from the 1st of December until the 25th of December so we can get it for Christmas and then on the 21st of December this sale date will appear so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this date out now just to give you an idea take this date out and uh, we'll check it out now so oh, everything is done we go to publish. If there's still some information that you need, that you don't have, and you've made changes. Okay, now this is published. We get this restored to backup thing. Just ignore it. It's an irritation. Um, it's a problem with the new version of WooCommerce. They're trying to sort it out. Uh, just forget it. It's an irritation. Okay, let's view preview changes. So, what we're going to do is now we're going to see the product that we've just uploaded, and hopefully everything is going to be there the way that we said or the way we set it up. All right, let's have a look. Here's our main image. There's our main image. Here's our gallery images. Okay, we can enlarge the gallery images as well. And there's it enlarged. All right. Then we added the categories, nuts, nuts, and then the tags. Aged five boy bundle girl. Remember, bundle was one we put in a new one. It's on sale. 
it was a thousand rand. It's now five hundred bucks for that bundle. All right. A short description, as I said. A long description, as I said. So now you just remember that your long and your short descriptions are going to vary. Your long description, this description here, is going to give them details about the product, the size, the color, the clothes, the stuff used. This is going to tell you what it is. It's going to be like, hey, it's a boy's jersey, lucky for the winter, whatever the case might be. You or your your imagination there, and uh, you can create a good description. All right, so there it is. That's um, a product that we've uploaded from new. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to all products. And for the sake of this exercise, I'm just going to delete that one simply because we don't want it anymore. So we're going to take this one and we're going to trash it. Now we're going to use uh, a similar image or the same image. Uh, and we're going to create or duplicate a product from an existing product. It makes life a little bit easier. Um, Still busy trashing up there. It's got a lot of information it needs to get rid of. So there it's trashed. Okay, so now to make life easier for yourself and don't confuse yourself, what you do is you go to edit. No, sorry, duplicate. It's going to duplicate that specific product and it's going to show you there it's a copy of Robert. Okay. So now we don't want it to be a copy of Robert. We want it to be Hello Robert, just for the sake of this exercise. Um, long description is the one at the bottom. Uh, uh, for the sake of this, I'm going to make this garment complete measurement. Cursive and bold. I'm going to change the price to 350 Rand. I'm going to look at my inventory. It's in stock. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to put an amount in because it's in stock. That allows them to back order it. And then uh, your short description. Okay, this is going to be two different sizes and we're going to add uh, different product tags here. So product tags we're going to add is just aged five add. Um, and then publish that's how simple it is if you duplicate a product now you're going to have products that got variations so if you take um, let's preview it Okay, now there's the product. Hello, Robert. Now it's 350 Rand. We remember we made that boulder. Um, so that's our, our product that we duplicated. Again, we've got one image. We don't have gallery images for this one. And that image has got a transparent background, so it's going to show up as transparent. There you go. Okay, that was the image from the one that I did for Robert. Okay. Now, what I want to show you is if we have to go, I'm going to delete this one as well because we don't need it. It's a copy. What happens is we've got variable products. And if you have variable products, it means it comes in different colors and different sizes. And to be specific, it gets a little bit complicated simply because uh, beanies, the beanies that is on the, the website at the moment were... Uh, I think there were six or seven of them, and uh, they were different sizes. So we had a small and we had a medium. The small is 36 centimeters, and the medium is 40 centimeters. So if we have to go to beanies here um, and have a look at the, the beanies, you see there's two on back order. Those are the two mock orders I made this morning. Um, if we go to beanies, we go down here, you'll see that we have variable products. 
whereas on the others it was simple product here we have a variable product and the variations are yellow pineapple small and medium they come with different prices and it's complex to be able to put this together so when when you have variable products like that i suggest um you either google it to find out how it's done or you send it to me and i'll set it up for you um so that it can be done according to the specs that we've done it here okay so that's uploading products i don't think it's too complicated if there are any problems you i'm just around the corner all you have to do is you give me a shot there's a few other things that we need to discuss but i will discuss that in another video